Right boys, here we are. Welcome back to the channel. Non-league to Premier League time. Just like to say a big thank you to Ian Seedon, Patreon member, has upped his pledge. Thank you very much, buddy. Muchly appreciate it. Let's get into today's video. We've got Barnsley in the FA Cup and we've also got Crystal Palace in the league. Nine games since last episode. Five wins, two draws, two defeats. Let's go. I'm the chap with the red scarf on, going around singing we are York. We're City, play pretty, that is our style of football. How charming, just like the Minster, a pint of bitter and a slice from Ginster. Walking the walk, talking the talk, and singing we are York. Climbing up the old division four. If you score some... Right, first thing, a bit of out of context FM for you. Um, Payette, wanted by Sheffield United. Um, Sheffield United have offered him the job, he's taken it. Um, his first job, he's, he's not done anything in seven years, um, but he's, he's taken a job. Um, he's done well to get it. Absolute random. Doesn't strike me as a manager that's going to really help them out since they're 22nd in the league, really struggling. They're 10 points adrift as well, so they're going down. 10 points adrift. There's the league table. We are sixth, though, in the playoffs. So we've got Crystal Palace coming up. We've got Barnsley first in the FA Cup, who are one point clear, but seven points clear of third. Um, our run has been pretty good. We've had a couple of fantastic wins. We've beaten Leeds. We've beaten Middlesbrough. We didn't just beat Leeds and Middlesbrough. We absolutely smashed them. We had a run of 5-2 at home against Middlesbrough. We even went 1-0 down. And we smashed Leeds 6-2. Odebeko. Odebeko's finding his feet. He's in great form. Smashing a hat-trick there. Nilly fan as well. Mahoney's got injured, unfortunately. Um, Jamie Chisholm scoring. Glendon is just Glendon. You know, average rating for the last five games, 7.54, one goal, four assists. So he's doing all right, isn't he? Um, Jamie Chisholm. Where did we finish last episode? We finished it there, didn't we? The 4-0 and the 6 now. Two one nil wins. Disappointing defeat away at Uddersfield. Uh, a good point. A good point at Sheffield United at Sheffield Wednesday. They were going well. They were top half. Um, Scraped a one nil, but we were down to ten men, so we did pretty well to hang on there. A defeat at Bournemouth. We went two, two nil down after like nine minutes, but we should have. We should. We should have. Blah, 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 blah. We should have scored. We should have got an equaliser later on, but we responded really well. Middlesbrough, who were third, Leeds United, who were down, but still. I think they were like 16th at the time, but we've absolutely smashed them. Now, we've just had a, a disappointing performance against Hull. I think, if anything, Hull could have quite nicked... If anything, Hull could have probably nicked it towards the end. So, we would take the point and move on. Ten games to go. It is very, very tight. You know, there's only three points separating... What, us four teams? Six points only separate six teams. So, it's going to be... Pretty, pretty tight. I'm not sure what other kind of games. Our fixtures don't look too bad. We've got Brentford who are down near the bottom, I think. Portsmouth are down near the bottom. Burnley, Rotherham. Rotherham are quite high. Palace are quite high. And we've got... Have we got Wolves still to play? Wolves away, last game of the season. That'll probably be next Monday's episode. Um, I do want to crack on with a game, two games after the two games today and see how we do. Right. I think that's about it. Oh, we signed a World Cup winner. Uh, where is he? Hugo Lloris. He's in. Um, I think the fans grade was E. Um, he is 41. But we played Jennings for a game <laughs> and conceded four. No, he conceded three and had a bit of a mare at Huddersfield. It was a couple... 6.7 is very generous because he basically let two in. Well, he threw to win. Um, David Ray had a slight injury. We got Hugo Lloris in. Ray got fit, so I've not had to play Lloris. But I think he's signed for a year and a bit. Yeah, he's got a year and a bit in emergency backup. I'm going to do whatever I can, though, to get David Ray in. i um, going to do whatever I can. But that's about it. There's not much else apart from me just smashing through games. Sesse is a bit unhappy. Um, not playing. Norwich are interested in Mr. Etta, which is a... That could be tasty in the summer, but said, well, we won't. hopefully we're going to be Premier League anyway. Um, Hadis Harich has not been able to play much because of just Glendon just been awesome. Um, but he's very, very young. He will take over Glendon. I just want Glendon to be a Premier League midfielder before it's too late for him. 
that's the ultimate dream. Right, we've got a few changes to make. Jason Reed was rested last game. Um, not well, not rested. He was about 87% fit. So was uh, Dominic Silva, so he can come back in. Kovac can come back in as well for Brown. Mahoney's out. We're going to go Mohamed Sese because we want to keep him happy. I don't want to lose him. He's not exactly Premier League quality, but I really don't want to lose him. And the rest pick themselves. Mr. Etta's found himself on the bench just because Jamie Chisholm hasn't... Well, he's got three goals. Three goals and assist in the last five. Um... Audrey Becco is finding his feet, finally. Um, 12 goals now in 25, but four goals, four assists in the last five. He's really enjoying playing on the left-hand side as a pressing forward. Nearly Svan as well, five goals, two assists coming into his own. I think we can do some business with him. I honestly think we can get him next time. Got what? He's got a year left on his deal. He's now 22. I don't. He's not by Munich standard. I think we can get him. I think we can get him. Right, everyone else fit. I think this is this is, is it? Would we class it as our strongest? Maybe, yeah, Mahoney, Mahoney out. He's been in no, well, he's been in average form. Average form. Right, let's go. Let's get through to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup boys. Come on. Right, here we go. Two minutes gone. First highlight of the game. So Barnes, they're absolutely romping in the league at the moment. They're gonna be Premier League for sure. So like 13 points clear with what 10 games to go. Right, Steer, Glendon, Sese, Alukanak, Glendon, Steer, lovely little ball, Svan, finish, 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 finish. Well, Svan had two attempts, Jamie Chisholm had one, he's put it in, he's got himself 20 for the season. Not going to be able to get him back, are we? Not for £10 million. But good start, especially against especially against the league leaders. We've done well against Yorkshire teams. We've got a right decent run against Yorkshire teams. Right, Sese. Aludanak. Reed. Back to Glendon. Right, here we go. Svan. Ball out wide if he wants. No, he's got himself. Glendon's hit. <laughs> George Glendon. Just. Just revel in him. 32 years old. He's now back, back up to worth 250k. Look at that. 38.5k. 38 38 7.54. 7.35s. Look at that. Look at that. His best assists. He's closing on his best goal return as well in the league. Just an all-round superstar. Good run from Svan to start with. 2-0 after 20 minutes. Right. Alaptonak is struggling. So we're going to whip him straight off. Stuart Warren, a very decent backup. Right. This is going to be a first real highlight for Barnsley. Are they going to show us why they are running towards the Premier League? Warren's managed to intercept nicely. Chisholm's taken it down and he's turned him. He's turned that centre half. Can he finish? Can he finish? Udebeko was just there, line to square it up. Didn't use him, unfortunately. Right, Glendon, he's a bit of a way out. He's gone for a deep jink. Oh, Kovac's there. Right, just before half-time. We don't want to concede, boys. Come on, Udebeko. Can we get a third? Oh! The keeper was diving across. I was waiting for that net to ripple. But, brilliant first half. Guarding against a bit of complacency. We are playing top of the league, so if we drop off, they're going to hurt us, but we've completely bossed it. This is a midweek game as well, so we do another sellout crowd. We do want to just watch some of the fitness of certain players, fan in particular. We'll maybe look at getting Herich on the youngster. We'll see where this goes first. Are they going to get themselves back in the game? They probably are at the near post. Ryan Cassidy on the score sheet. Right. The league leaders are right back in this cup tight. And now they've got a corner. Come on, boys. Cassidy, the goal scorer, is chasing. Who have we got there? Sesse has done well, but he's not got the ball. McDonald. We forced them back. Chance for us to break here if we can get it. We're hunting them down. We've managed to get it. 
Steer's got the second ball into Udebeko. Svan into Jamie Chisholm. Straight at the goalkeeper. Shock. Shock. It's now a surprise again when people score from one on ones. Udebeko's there. Yeah. Two big chances that we've passed up there. All right, Sorrentino. Come on, boys. Can't be conceding. We've done well. Svan back, helping out. Tremendous. Right, Steer. Sweeps one out to Sese. All the way back to Reed. We've done well to keep it. We've gone all the way back to the keeper, though. Raya. Sese. He's clicked one over the top. Udebeko's going to get on the end of it. Yes, he is. Oh, finish. Chisholm. Game over. Job done. 3 1. Let's do some subs. Let's get the two central midfielders off. We're going to go uh, Herrick and we'll tell you what, we'll go Luke Thomas because he's one of our own. Doesn't necessarily look. Oh, he wants to be a Mazala. As you can see, got my Mazala on. Jim J's t shirts. Jim J. Jim G's t shirts. Um, I went for Mazala, even though I've never really played with a Mazala in the game, but I just went for it because it was the blue. I think these. These shirts are all out of stock now, but I think he's in him and doing some, a few more rolls and stuff. They, they are for charity, they're for calm. Right, Udebeko, Thomas, the Mazala. I'm going to use a Mazala. Next save that I do, I'm going to look at using a couple of Mazalas in the team. Some of that I've not used much, because maybe because I've not had much joy with. I do love a box-to-box -box in the mid midfield. And a deep-line playmaker. I do love that combination. White Warren. He's done well. He's done well. He's done well. He's squared it. Oh, how has that not gone in? But Uda Beko is there. We are smashing the league leaders. Now, I know it's the FA Cup. But it is the fifth round of the FA Cup. This is impressive, boys. We'll praise it. No, and he's got himself injured. Oh, dear God. He's been our best player in those last nine games off screen. Oh, nightmare. Right, Chisholm, he's up there by himself because we are down to ten men, but he says, fuck it, I'm going to go for a run. He's been tackled. Cassidy's in. Oh, great save, but they've tapped in the rebound. 4-2. They're not going to get another. That's disappointing. Takes the edge off a little bit, too. But we've deserved it. 20 shots, 10 on target. We've played very, very well. We are through to the quarterfinals. Just hopefully Odebeko isn't out for too long. He has already had a couple of spells on the sideline. We have got Mr. Etta as well. So it's not as if we've got absolutely no one to put up there. But it's just so much of a big miss. All right, let's see how long he's going to be out for. Here we go. Four to five weeks, boys. Fucking hell. So we're looking at... He's going to miss the FA Cup quite fine. He's going to miss the whole of March. Probably the, maybe the first two. The first two games as well. So he's going to be back for the last four. Just devastating. Because I said he's been in great form. Last five. Five goals, five assists in his last five games. Average 8.06. Oh dear. That's a big miss. Half a million, half a million squid though. But I would, I would take keeping other Becker than half a million squid. I imagine we've got the FA Cup draw soon. It'll be all the big boys left. Right, here we go. FA Cup quarterfinal. I, I'm not sure how far the club have actually gone. I'm trying to think. I think we might have got to a semi-final in like the 50s. That won't be on there though, will it? It'll only do the league form. I'm sure we got to the semi-finals once in the 50s. Right, we've got Birmingham, who are 19th in the Premier League. So that wouldn't be a, a too shabby draw. Derby County is obviously the one that we want. Man City, West Ham. Where are West Ham? 17th. We've already beaten them. Brighton, 14th. So if we get a home draw against one of the... And just avoid Man United, Tottenham, Man City. You never know. Right. Let's go. Derby County. Tottenham. Brighton. Birmingham. Bollocks. West Ham at home. Man City. 
West Ham. We've got Manchester United. <laughs> We've got Manchester United. The last time Man United and, Man and York City played each other in a cup was the League Cup and we knocked them out over two legs. That was a long time ago. That was when I was about five or six. We're at home to Manchester United. Right, that's going to have to be the next. That's going to have to be the next game now, isn't it? When is it? Not long, but we have to. We're going to have to come back for that. We're going to have to come back for Man United. Right, we've got to focus now. We've got to focus. That draw was on the Friday. Lads are celebrating because we've got Manchester United. We've got Crystal Palace, and we need to dispatch of them. Right. Odo Beko out. Mistretta in. Nilly Svan's struggling a little bit, but he's going to have to play. We'll just go with that for now, and then we'll look at doing a change later on. <clears throat> can bring Chisholm out wide. Mistretta can play out wide. It just means us bringing on Guadetti. We might even go We might even go 4-3-3. Um, Herich in the middle of the park. We've got options. Coutinho. I oh, know. Coutinho won't be playing, is he? No, Coutinho's not. Right, Ramazan Yildirim, first highlight. We did lose to Palace earlier on in the season, so it'd be nice to get a little bit of revenge. Svan's gone, oh, the full length. And Round, do you remember Round? Joe Round, we got him, what, in season five? Had two years with us, and then Crystal Palace came in and smashed the release clause, and really, to be fair, helped us financially, not get out of debt, but it did help us make sure we had one of the strongest budgets in the league. Right, Silver, and then Theobald came in and replaced him, so we've done well. We've done well with this save. Get in, Cesse. Another one of our product line. He's, a, he's unhappy at the moment, just because he's not getting as much game time as he wants, but injuries and stuff. He's a great impact player to come on. He can play out wide. He's fast. He works hard. He's one of our own. I'm, Definitely looking to keep him for the majority of the save as well. Right, here we go. Coming up to 20 minutes. This is a big one. Palace are obviously going to throw some stuff at us because they are fourth. So it's not just going to be a walk in the park. Stia, Sese. He's off again. Cross field to Glennon, the wizard. <gasps> just every, expect every time he's on the ball, to, he's going to score. Great set piece though as well. I don't even think his set pieces are that great, like, out of 20 wise. Oh, they've just thrown an end from absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Isaac Aiden's equalised. They had about three players free at the back stick then. Oh, yeah, just, who was that? Sese, marking him and then just went straight to the ball. Right, come on, let's have a response, boys. Steer. No, that's average. That's average. Oh, they're going to hit us on the break. That was a great kick from round the keeper. Reed's come across and that'll probably be a yellow card. No? Okay, they've got a free kick though. Oh, just like that, boys. It's turned on its head. Two set pieces, two goals. Gets above it. That, to be fair, that's just a good header. We were challenging. That was a brilliant header. But that's disappointing. Come on, can we get straight back in it? Glendon, Mistretta's underneath it. Svan's there. Switch it out wide. Oh, he's gone himself. Greedy bugger. Oh, that was didn't look like a penalty at all to me. Jamie Chisholm to make it 2-2. What an opening half hour we've had to the game. Come on. Chisholm. Yes, 2-2. What a start. I'm going to say get creative. Let's create a few more chances. Looks like we're going to have goals. We've had 10, 10 opportunities, two clear cut, three halves. So we may be unfortunate to be going in 2 2. They scored from two set pieces. Right, half time. Let's go passionate. Bit of revenge. <clears throat> right. Altomac. Mr. Etta. Probably hasn't scored in a while, Mr. Etta. Glendon! <laughs> ding, 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 ding. What a guy. I think the goalkeeper fucked up there. I'm sure Round. Did Round punch it into his own net? Right, Mistretta cuts in. Little dink across. Glendon's got time. Yeah, not good goalkeeping from Joe Round, the keeper. But we don't care. 
Right, Ramazan, corner. Come on, let's defend it. Get this, Van. This is where we're good. This is Van at his best here. Run with it, run with it, run with it. He's still going, he's still going. No one's made a tackle. Maybe just took that extra touch and tightened up the angle a little bit. Right, come on, let's get a fourth. Let's keep pushing. Oh, fuck. Let's get a fourth, they'll probably get their third. Right, Hayden, Cash. Queiros. Matty Cash again. Keeping the ball nicely, Hayden. Oh, it's good football. Reed's come and thumped it clear. Now Mastretta. Go on, lad. Oh, fuck. Just thought Svan was going to get in there. Where is this highlight going? Steer. We're in. Svan. Hit it. Tight angle. No. 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 Never happens, does it? Grass from demand more. Right, Glendon. Bit of whippage, son. He has done. Mistretta's underneath it. That is a beautiful goal. Lovely guided header. Mistretta finally scores. He's 12th of the season. I don't know who he has scored. He has been a bit bad player the last couple of weeks. Well, the last sort of like month or so, really, with Odebeko and uh, Chisholm doing so well. Right, Sese is nearly fan. Both will need... Well, that's fine, because Baum can come in, even though he's going to be probably leaving us at the end of the season. And then we're just going to go... Well, Gidetti, tell you what, Gidetti can come on. Chisholm can go out wide. Right, Owen. Come on, it's still 17 minutes to go. Right, Chisholm, the winger, now playing out wide, has nicked in. He slipped in, Mistretta. That should be goal number five. What is going on at the moment here? Our goal scoring is pretty, pretty incredible. Like the Svan effort that we spoke about in the start of the second half was from a, was from a set piece. We do break quickly with the two wide players. Right, Glendon. Mistretto. Blah, blah, blah. That was a big chance. Right, let's do one more sub. Let's get the captain off. Let's get his apprentice on. Got to keep giving Herich as much game time as we possibly can. And there we go, boys. 5-2. York City 5. Palace 2. Fucking hell. We're absolutely smashing teams. And there we are. Still 6th. But we're now 3 points clear of 8th. We've brought into play all 4 teams in the playoffs as well. We're only 3. We're not catching Barnsley. Um, Bournemouth have now gone top. But 3 points off. Best goal difference as well by far. So that's encouraging. We've drawn so many games. Ten, ten draws. But there's a real push now. So next episode, it will be the quarterfinal. We'll do Man United and Brentford. So I'm only going to do two games. Two games off camera. I'm going to have to... I'm going to be in the same t-shirt because I'm literally just going to go off camera, play those two games, come back, play them Man United and Brentford games, and then we'll see where we are. Hopefully, it's important that we have two really positive results. Fleetwood and both Port Fleetwood and Portsmouth are down near the bottom, so we want to be making sure that we get four points from those two games, minimum, minimum, minimum. And that's it for today, boys. Hope you've enjoyed that. Lots of goals in these last two episodes for you, non-league to Premier League. Let's see. We're in a fantastic position. We've got Man United in the FA Cup. We're not going to get a load of money out of that because we're at home. We only seat twelve thousand, but you never know. FA Cup. Can we smash Manchester United in the quarterfinal? You will find out Monday night episode. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like today's video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the Patreon as well. As I said, loads of new perks for each tier. Much appreciated. Cheers, guys. See you later.